having Wi-Fi issues uh, directly related to the fact that the GPU is not sending the right voltage to the hardware. Um, it is kind of weird uh, if you think about it that the GPU affects the Wi-Fi card, but it does. Um, what it's doing is, you can see the light is orange. It is on, that's off, and that's on. Uh, if I look in device manager, it doesn't even show the adapter. It just shows the 1394 net adapter and the NVIDIA Enforce networking controller. It does not show the Broadcom wireless adapter, and it is installed. Um, let's see. It's right here. My thumbs at. Uh, I did have another one on hand, a brand new one. I tried it, that did not fix it. Um, so, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this sucker apart. I'm going to reball the GPU. Um, I'm not going to pretty much show you every single thing about reballing a GPU. I'm just trying to show you a symptom and what a GPU reball can do to fix this symptom. Um, just for the fact that I've already I already got tons of videos on the on my website that uh, show you how to do the reball, um, but the customer says basically it was sometimes it would show up it would act like he had I mean even down here on his taskbar here it doesn't even show the wireless uh, icon it shows the Ethernet port but it does not show the wireless because it does not show it in device manager which means the computer doesn't even recognize that it's plugged in um, so I'm gonna pause it I'm going to but like I was about to say the customer had, was telling me that it was working sometimes and sometimes it wouldn't um, that's why he brought it to me because basically now it's not working at all so I'm going to take it apart I'm going to reball it and then I'm going to show you that the reball actually fixed the problem. Um, I'm not swapping any boards out or anything like that. So, I mean, this is me actually doing it just because I'm not showing you the whole step by step instructions on how to reball because I've already done that. So, uh, just take my word for it. I'm going to reball this sucker and uh, show you that that fixes the problem. Okay, so, just to show you, I have busted the whole laptop down. Here's everything. There's the motherboard. There's the GPU. Um, let me take a look at it real quick. So, there's a chip that I'm going to be working with. Um, also, what I was thinking is, hey, maybe some of you might want to know how to get the device manager on your laptops to see if it's even showing it. Uh, this is Windows 7, so if you right-click on your computer icon, you can do it here if it's on your desktop or you go to your start menu and then you go to computer right click on it go to properties and then the top left it'll say device manager click device manager and then it will be under network adapters so that's where you'll be able to see in Windows 7 and Vista uh, if your wire it should say wireless card or something along those lines um, wireless N, wireless G, something like that. Uh, on XP to get to your device manager, um, same thing, you right click on your computer icon if it's on the desktop or you go to start and then right click on my computer, go to properties, then you on uh, XP you go to hardware tab at the top, then you click on device manager tab and then it brings up your device manager. and then. You go to your network adapters. So that's how you get to see if your wireless card is even being recognized by your operating system. If you already know how to do that, that's good. Um, so I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna reball this chip, and then I'm gonna put it back together and show you that it works. All right, bye. Okay, so I got the uh, chip reballed and the board cleaned off. I just want to show you that it's still all taken apart. It's just still the same laptop. And here's the chip reballed. Let me do it. 
dip it in the MEK real quick. Nicely reballed chip. Okay, so that's the chip. Here's the board. There's the spot where it's going to go. So, I'm going to put it back on and uh, just like I do in my other videos, and I'll test it out. Okay. So the reball process is done. I got the board on. Got my power button on. I don't even have the fan on. I don't have the heat sink on. I got the CPU in. Got the AC or the DC power cord plugged into the board underneath. One stick of memory in. If I didn't say that already. Uh, see the blue light over there because it's plugged in. Turn it on. Lights are good, staying on. See if we get some picture. There we go. So now I'm going to put it back together. Uh, I'm going to put it back together and uh, test out the wireless card. Alright, so we're all back together, ready to test out and see if our uh, network card is being noticed now by our operating system. There's our network card, uh, our wireless network card, I should say. Um, they're plugged in. Let's turn her on. Let's see if this light turns blue for us. It is in the one position. Got picture, obviously. Hey, 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 so we're blue, so it's definitely recognizing it. Um, let's let it start up, and we'll go into Device Manager and see, make sure it shows our wireless card now. This computer needs some work, that's for sure. A little slow to start up. Hear my fan going, that's always good. I did blow the fan out. There's our taskbar. Alright, let's see if I can get in here, device manager. Right click on my computer. Looks like it's still loading. There we go, properties. We got our Wi Fi icon down there now. Network adapters. Broadcom 802.11 B slash G wireless LAN network card. So we fixed the problem with a GPU reball. Imagine that. This is Matt at fixmygpu.com, and uh, if you're having this issue, this is another symptom. 
for you that you're going to need a GPU reboot to get the problem fixed. But like I said, this is Matt, fixmygpu.com. You guys have a good day.